So for those who don't know me yet, I'm Lydia Halley. You may know me as the Alba Coder on Instagram or as that 19-year-old girl from that Medium article in 2017. While I work remotely, I travel all over the world by going to different Airbnbs basically every month. I do this so that I can meet people from the industry in different countries and definitely go to different tech places. I want just to get more people involved in the tech world, the coding world, and show them how cool it is once you have the skill that you can basically build anything you want and there are no limits anymore. I feel like the clumsiest person ever now. <laughs> We now created a map with key and value pairs. And in order to get access to a value, we can use the get method. My main goal is to share my passion to other people. And I think it's a great way, or a great way of doing that is by creating videos and showing what I work with and why I like it and what you can build with it. Whenever I see like a big blog post filled with text. I don't really get excited about a certain technology. I'm like, oh, this programming thing is so overwhelming. Um, and I kind of try to get rid of that overwhelming feeling that people might get by creating courses and creating content that they can, you know, kind of relate with and is a bit more exciting. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, you can code so many different things. I remember when I lived in an apartment for a longer time, I mainly worked with like a Raspberry Pi, which is like a small computer that you can actually like do stuff. So I built like Raspberry Pis to like start brewing my coffee in the morning, for example, or like, I don't know, turn off my light, just very small things. But you know, they actually like kind of made my life easier. So whenever I just felt bored, I would just code stuff like that. And maybe sometimes I just wanted to have a simple app, so I would build an app. And it's like, you can be so creative with the stuff that you're coding. So this is why I think coding itself could never really burn you out. It's the product that you're working towards. But there are always ways to find your passion again in coding if you're interested in it by just like building cool stuff that you're actually interested in, which is what I'm always doing. So I might always be coding, but it's not. I just see it as work. Um, I just see it as my hobby and my life. <laughs> My dad works in cybersecurity, so I think now he's a cybersecurity consultant. So, like, when you have teenagers and you're in tech, your teenagers won't be interested in tech. They don't want to do what your parents do. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's always said that I'll end up in tech, and I was like, no, dad, of course I won't. Like, tech is boring, but here I am <laughs> as a programmer. <laughs> When I was in high school, I, I was always traveling. I could never really like stay at the same place. I always felt like, you know, there are so many places I could go to. And especially now, like I have the opportunity to go anywhere. Um, whenever I'm in an office for a longer time, I feel kind of stuck, like even if it's location wise or um, I can't concentrate as well. And if I have the possibility to go anywhere I want to, it's, uh, I can concentrate a lot better, I guess, um, which worked out great for me. Like. I've seen so many things in the world just traveling or uh, working remote, traveling around. And I, I never want to go back to an office job. <laughs> hey! Hi. It is! Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. I, I don't really share that I didn't go to, or well, yeah, I share that I didn't go to university, but I never promote it. And then people tell me, like, oh, yeah, so because of you, I didn't go to university. I'm like, oh, no, please don't do no, that. That's, that's <laughs> like, it doesn't look very nice. No. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not responsible for ruining your life at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't get me wrong, I think university is a great step for many people, but I think it's mainly for people who, um, well, okay, so this is now only focused on like computer science and not for other, you know, like professions where you need to go to university, but if you are genuinely motivated, like you know what you're working on and you're genuinely motivated in computer science and you spend 
or you're willing to sacrifice a lot of your free time studying computer science, but just on your own and working on projects, programming all the time, and also kind of reaching out to people and asking questions, bouncing ideas, then you really don't need a computer science degree. Um, as long as you are um, able to really like push yourself and to feel uncomfortable, which I love. I knew what I wanted to do, um, and I knew that I am I'm a hard worker, like I can get there just working hard myself. So that's why I decided not to go. <laughs> Whenever I teach other people, they ask me questions, which I don't always have the answers for. And then I start Googling that and, you know, like you learn so much that way. Just teaching people, even if you think like, oh, I don't know enough about this, just teach. And either you will find that you actually know much more about it or you will also find your weaknesses and then you can, you know, get stronger from that. I'm mainly going to different locations because I feel like the thing I'm looking for is in a location. Whereas I'm now starting to realize that it's not in a location, um, it's in my own mindset. So I think once I've really figured out what it is in me that I'm trying to find by going to other places, I'll find stability. But I um, haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> It'll come one day, but maybe, maybe never. <laughs> maybe <Exactly>. never. <laughs> yeah.